mid can be very hard to hold on the defense, especially if the attackers take quick control of drop, because it just unlocks so many different angles to push through on. But instead, they are going to be pushing directly through mid. At least one solo player is looking for a fight. Laura's going to take Cryptic out. So it is still going to be an advantage for the defense after that. Oh, never mind. Oh, detailed. Nice pickup there. Utilizing that shiv. Trying to take over this big control. Like you said, look, pushing towards A in a big way for the attackers to start this one off. Looking to flood the site in through jail as well. We can see that coming in now. Multiple players bringing everybody in here. I love this. Constantly bringing through that specter in these moments. Always wanting to have that body close behind so they can play off their own intel. That's something I've noticed a lot more than top players do. They're constantly bringing in their own specter just to have it right around the corner should they need it and mid it in. Nice quick plant there comes the wave scan as well wanting to watch this then i have to watch both angles mid and both spawns but looking really good here for the attackers very clean take you want to have your units spread out on the beginning for again like responses for change-ups but the second you have the site the second you're committed, you want to be full committed there detail with yet another headshot just answering back coming in from a flank nice oh wait a second he's got a bit close now Going for these drop, jump, uh, jump shots, going to bring out the smoke here, but work cut out for them in the 2v1. Going to try and chain these smokes together, trying to utilize the angle, but not be a 2v1 situation. Finding both angles, not a whole lot you can do about that. Cryptic, a player I called out in the last match, Pixel called out as well. Definitely someone to keep an eye on. Those shots were crispy. Another question for you, Pixel, though, is the economy in this game. It's something that Paul and I have discussed extensively previously. Um, and we're still kind of figuring this one out. At what point, I guess after a pistol round is a key part of it, like would you choose to go for a full save versus full buying as much as possible every round? Because we see rounds get won by teams with inferior weapons routinely. Yeah, so the economy in this game is a, is a little bit different. You know, the round count's much lower. You get that economy surge in round four. Um, there's a couple strategies that get employed pretty consistently. One is full saving after round two if you lose the first round. If you win it, you know, like you get a huge econ boost. Your opponent is really, really unable to buy effectively going into that. Um, and then buying T4s in round three, whether you win or lose, basically. The other one is consistently buying tier three weapons because uh, they're pretty strong. Yeah, they are indeed, but oh, big push here coming out of the B site, and yeah, tier three, I mean, that's one I feel like a lot of, you get as comfortable with those as you do with the main ARs, because you'll be utilizing them quite a bit, and utilizing, not something we've seen a whole lot yet so far, that fast um, recall zone there, being able to bring in the Spectres incredibly quickly. The Spectre warnings firing off here, coming in through the defender's spawn, dicey and cryptic, just again, setting up the meat grinder there, beautiful job with the wall bang there as well. Players pushing it through mid and drop, but like, oh man, just already detailed, lined up there, has the headshot just perfectly pre-aimed, and that was about as flawless as you can get. Yeah, the game even admits it. Well, this round 2-0 to zero lead now. But weapons, hopefully stronger ones, are going to be in the hands of everyone across the board. I, I There wasn't a kill for uh, the defenders. So it's hard to tell um, how if they saved or not. I wasn't able to identify it yet, but we'll see if they have. They they uh there. they definitely half bought, okay. and you can kind of tell that because they're at 44. They're above the 4100 threshold to where you get the tier three armor. You can still buy a T4 weapon. You might be a little light on utility, but you do have that increased firepower. Right. Uh, you can see on on the Morgan on Kingsley's side, they still were able to afford the trip, and they bought T4s. So that's kind of what they opted to do. Ooh, yeah, Reaver. On top of elbow, you don't see this position played too much. It's a lot of high ground, but not a lot of cover if someone were to quick swing into you. It is the attackers going down mid. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more players prioritizing that. There's the box right back there that you're seeing. Um, players actually sitting back up that as well, keeping an eye out on the defensive side, but not opting to utilize that here. In fact, just giving up mid control and now potentially looking to come in and collapse from this A and B site respectively. But, and this is what we talk about, you, you know, this mid control can be so critical because you just start to lose track of players here. And again, you only have three sets of eyes. Yes, you have the notifications that are, you know, tripping if your specter just hears someone, but you Cryptic has been able to full send down mid and no one was the wiser. Relium just getting popped in the back of the head. And now you have all the specters coming in. The world is their oyster. Well, Bixel, you said it. Mid control is very important. Holding all of these units 
Dude, the defender spawn is cryptic, but Dicey is answering back, getting a couple of kills with the Hornet. Thor takes them out, but it is advantage once again for the attacker's side. This is looking like a pretty clear-cut round. Honestly, the beginning of a pretty clear-cut half. Yeah, I mean, uncharacteristic. Right from team steve sorry to cut you off there but no. they put the they put the trip in mid that's a really really good trip uh not to toot my own horn i made that trip i put that down first <laughs> but they didn't rotate anyone to play off the information of it right yeah a little bit surprised by that honestly and again zeus now we're finally seeing the zeus be planted here but a little bit of a, a delayed element on that one and again kills have sort of gone back and forth it looked like kind of a, a clean opening here it was actually ended up being more scrappy than i would have expected well, all's well that ends well with the Zeus being planted. It's, they still got to retake this if they want to get the first run on the board for them. And, well, that was fast. Dicey says no. Quick little reaver spray down headshot. Well, only headshot for the Steez, but regardless, 5k and a 3-0 to zero lead. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the economy surge coming in, though, now. So maybe a little bit of, you know, uh, ability to come back and continue to fight on this. But Dicey has been popping off. Dicey, who was a little bit quiet, or probably the, the player I talked about the least in that first game here from Team Detailed. It seemed like, you know, Detailed himself and Cryptic ended up, you know, catching a lot of the spotlight. But Dicey absolutely popping off here in this second game for them. And so far, it seems like Team Steez that, you know, we talk about the idea of momentum, the idea they had the opportunity to sit back and work on the strats and plan, but conversely, it also means this time they're potentially not playing yeah. a little bit cooler. Cam, we know when you have these sort of, these longer days playing, you know, intense match after intense, ma intense match, that can wear you out a bit. Forward push by the defenders onto B main, but it is going to be the attackers focusing on the A site. High momentum, pushing in without a care in the world. Spectre Danger, they know that someone's on the site. Wave scan is going to find them on the A site itself, not behind jail like they oh, no. might have expected or suspected for a brief moment, but get one kill, going to go for the plant. Bob Durham, here comes the flood. Yeah, I mean, that was absolutely flawless. Really only one player there caught out by the wave scan, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just the pinch, flash is coming in, enemy wave scan, wave scan as well, but at this point the site is completely overwhelmed. Dicey is just continuing to rack Zeus up has the been kills, blended. it's now five bodies to two. This is a situation, looking to try and play for the retake here, we'll see what angle Steez can find. Goes, looks to try and find one, nice shots there onto Dicey. Can he continue to chain these kills together though? No, the double swing. And now a second one here, not expecting Rowan from the same lost. angle though, that's massive, but... Cryptic is there to continue to clean um, this up, but hey, not, not too bad. Not too bad to try and at least get a couple back. Strange. When I when I uh, try and wall bang the corner of that box, nothing happens, but these guys are just better than I am, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing some some solid play here, and, and Bixel, something we, we, we identified as well going into this, that we found that Team Steez maybe had a little bit of a problem. The momentum started to go against them. What would you do if you were on this team right now? playing with these players who have put in quite a few hours, what would you say to your team at this point to try and shake things up, taking a look at the strats that they've been doing? I mean, I think they're just getting aggressive in all the wrong places. Team Detail's not really playing with any set patterns right now. And they're trying to play super reactive instead of trying to get really aggressive and, and kind of, you know, put themselves in positions to get really good fights in. They're, they're letting the fights come to them. Steez could change that right here, though. We are seeing the push coming in now. Heavy aggression over towards this inside. A lot of aggressors stacking up there on the attacking side, but playing around drop as well. And this is a big one. They do call it drop for a reason because you will make noise dropping yeah. down there and giving that intel. Here comes the full response. Ooh. The specters are coming in. Lore, beautiful shot to start this off, Cam. Yeah, I mean, talking about going aggressive, they're pulling it back now, playing super defensive, and they're holding onto the side, and they're really fast rotation over to stop the take. The Zeus is on the site, but it hasn't gone down yet, and well, it was the start of a good hold. Steez is trying to answer back, but now it goes down to detailed, and oh, oh no. okay. Oh no! Goes down to the molly. Down. Hey, it happens, it happens to all ideal. of us, okay? Yep, yep, we've all been there. Uh, has, uh, that's Zeus not has been super planted. ideal, though. I mean, still a great position here for the attackers. Still only two left on the defensive side, but they've done quite a bit here, and we're seeing the rotations coming from both respective spawns. Looking to try and get the pinch, but the Zeus will continue to tick down the wave scan, not finding any real info here. But at this point, Cam, no info is still info. As both players are moving in, Rally, I'm able to pick up that first kill. Right? Makes presence known. I was going to say, the problem with the 1-1 one, one pinch 
that the defenders are trying to utilize to retake is that it does put them potentially into 1v1s, which is risky, but now that they're on this side, coming in from opposite sides, behind blue corner. Nades going in, pushing that off. Steez finds one. Great pickup from Relium. The player now just has to play around the Zeus. This is a terrible position. Goes for the first tick. Cannot find the kill. That was an absolute monster. He's just going to be getting down, and that's going to be the win. Great play there from Detail. Played that absolutely perfectly. There was one instance where Relium could have gotten that right. win and couldn't quite hit the shot. Oh, that was so close. That's heartbreaking for Relium. Bixel, man, again, looking at the economy. It's stacked so much on the attacker's side, on detailed side. And at this point, it's 5-0. to zero. You don't have that many rounds, so there's no point in saving. I, I guess it's sort of what I was kind of maybe potentially alluding to earlier of if you start sort of full buying every round as much as you can, you, you got to commit to it. You can't change up the way that you're controlling the economy once you commit one way or the other. Yeah, no, uh, you can see detailed... Economies, they're just snowballed completely out of control at this point. Five to nothing is a really, really tough scoreline, especially on Skyway, where you need to be getting a couple of these defensive rounds. And Team Steez is on, you know, they're getting free armors every round, but like I said, they're just not adjusting well enough. And so they're just investing all the time. At this point, they, they need to full buy out. They, they're losing way too many rounds. The situation where they just, I feel like, have to maybe play a little bit quicker they've got to try and go for a bit of a brute force play it's, it's it's not i think ideal this situation but clearly their version of the default has not been finding the most success they're, they're spreading out players quite a bit something we said for potentially playing on the on the retake a little bit more but no real openings and i love the fact that get on the attacking side now not afraid to just also slow things down and let the opponents get into their own head camp because sometimes that's the most dangerous point to be in you're not 100 sure as the push is now coming in fox is there jail they did spot that though there are players here on the defensive side special warnings are going off with a full push coming in here more and crew Ooh. picking up some kills the defenders finally starting to make something happen steez has been sitting on this block the whole time and not yet dealt with not but finally there comes the vision and will finally be taken down that way can't do it Good work. The players continue to look at the side, but more no way you should win that dicey landed the headshot am i wrong did i see something different it looked to be the one fight but one of those times i think i imagine is you hit land a headshot and your brain starts to consider the next move and you're not there to finish the spray but hey regardless the defenders look to be winning this one really i'm holding the site itself it's gonna be a 1v4 situation in terms of bodies bodies i should say oh, 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 hold 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 makes that 1v2 doesn't have a lot of HP to work with going around the corner trying to find the player coming in for mid 14 seconds takes the plant oh and Steez there that was absolutely massive not only the victory on paper but to have it come from your team captain detail just almost through that round Last on its round head but Steez kept it in his grasp Cam that was a must win round absolutely and like Vixel like you said they need every single round they can get at this point that's such an obvious statement to make but to go into the second half with not a single round on the board or even after this point with only one they're going to want to win this next round but with all the money that we saw still on the attackers side it's not going to be an easy one to sort of assume is said and done last round of the half i mean you're full buying out no matter what they luckily for them because they were able to win that round they have t4s they have utility they have everything they need in this round to make sure that they can come out with a at least two on the defending half it's a pretty heavy stack coming into B. A lot of footsteps. Elephants stomping around drop, but someone's there to meet them. Waves scan up and over, but that's going to give their position away as well. A little bit of a catch with that information, oh. and it's a second. Player comes out, takes advantage, but Dicey should not have gotten that one. That snap was quite impressive, I will say. Zeus was still, dropped. Defenders are here. Zeus care actually, two chains are going down. Steez picking up a pretty key kill here. As the so Zeus is down towards mid, so players are going to have to kind of scramble a little bit to try and reclaim that. And honestly, I can already start to feel a little bit of a, a little bit of change in the step of Team Steez. That was a massive win for them, the moral victory of being able to pull that one back. They need to win this next round, give them some sort of advantage. Not, you haven't seen a big rotation over towards A as well. It looks like it will be a committal to be from both sides, Cam, which means it now comes down to who can hit their shots, who can find the angles, who's going to be able to properly leverage this util. Someone's been located, and you can wallbang oh. that, but Lord still comes out on top. Detailed is there for the trade. 
But still, shouldn't have gotten away with that. It's two versus three and players on this uh, UK. Oh, Relium goes oh, down, tried to go no. for a wall bang, is going to get punished. Oh no, Relium just not quite sure what to do in that situation. He's getting the, the second you start to hear that alert, your Spectre warning going off, it just puts this moment of fear and you don't want to get caught out. As we're seeing players get caught out right now. Two players playing back on site. The Zeus is down to two people situation. And his last player standing, make it happen. And no, Steez not able to do it again. Detailed snapping back for a second. I thought Team Steez was going to be able to find that second Half round. But Relium just caught a little bit out there. And the rest of the team not able to play around and support him in that situation. That was a big one as we get into a 6-1 half. Team Detailed, hot off of that almost win against yeah. Team Shroud. Pixel. If you're in this situation, man, I mean, other than just win the damn rounds, what do you say to Team Steez? It really feels like they're panicking in a lot of these mid-round situations. You know, as you said, uh, when you start hearing your spec warning, your mind starts racing a little bit of what can I do. Relium just kind of didn't really do anything. He didn't really take aggression out into the main to try and catch them on any timing. He didn't puck and swap back. He just kind of did nothing and it ended up falling on both of them. Hyper aggressive defensive play, pushing out into Ward's drop. Cryptic Dicey, oh my goodness, the two of them just not even making the attackers feel safe in their own spawn. A little bit of rotation, but potentially a trap here as the push did end up coming in through drop as well. Need to be careful. Good util as well. And hang on a second, that's the Spectre. Oh, I don't know if Relium spotted it. I don't know if Relium spotted They got the kill on the first. No, they thinking no way that there are two units left behind there, but Lore. Trying to bring it back, but still a one versus two, one versus three, depending on how you divide it, player versus bodies. It's going to be a hard one. And swapping to get the second angle from the wave stand. They know exactly where he is. But tracking this one at a time, I would have waited. Dicey, you have teammates who can come in and or a teammate who can come in and assist you in this situation. Now it's a one v one. This is a big one here, and Lore is going to have some indication of where this other Spectre potentially is because of where the pulse from the wave scan came out. We still have to think about the Zeus cam right. has not been planted. That's the problem. I believe it fell below Catwalk, and it would have been reset back to the spawn if it was in an unreachable position, considering there were no more Spectres left on the, on the field for the attackers, or in this matter, defenders to use. But both the defenders are watching over it. Laura has to land these shots very quickly. Shots has to give away the position because of that barrier. Not quite able to land it, but the time was just not against them. Not a whole lot you can do in that position if you're Lore. Good attempt. That doesn't change the fact. Match that point. Seven to one. Detailed here on match point. Putting on an absolute clinic. And Cam, I'm looking at this after the performance they just put up and now. Detail this. I mean, this squad, if they can continue to fire off like this, they've got to be a contender to potentially make it all the way up to this, this, these finals here. I'm looking at the map now, and no, there's no mid, no mid presence at all once again. This time by the defenders. So it's important. Like I, I Bixel, I agree with you that mid is important. Like difficulty of doing it is is kind of showing its its face here and the lack of initial starting presence we'll see if maybe there's no contact hit outside b or a main that then they'll start to keep more eyes on that area but well contact is being made steez with the first i think looking at this now big thing here is again what do you do after this first pick happens because a lot of teams Again, you have that second chance. That's what makes this game different. You do have another opportunity if you're out, but you need to step up. You need to try and trade back that life. And we did see that happen here. That's a big pickup here from Cryptic as this push is coming in once again towards this A site. Player plus up. This might be something they're not expecting, but it doesn't matter because Lore is just able to get the shots in super clean. Moving in position. Oh, and actually down. utilizing the util to sort of you know hide the, the, the opposing player there. They're going to continue to push out in towards mid. A nice little bit of a defensive posture. Grenade up and over by Relium. Swapping over to the other unit. Considered pulling their player back because they were in, admittedly, a vulnerable position. But with down to 45 seconds left. Hackers There's only so much teasing that the teams can do at this point. Oh, but that was a big one. 
I am just catching them off guard here. Pulling back knows the position is compromised, but 30 seconds, Cam, if you are the attackers, Zeus is down. You have to play around this, getting those Spectre pings, the warnings, but didn't quite check the angle here, potentially. There it is. One player goes by. Trigger discipline. Zeus has to get it. Was killed. Oh no, does get it back now. That's massive. Zeus Carrier is killed. 19 seconds on the clock. They don't know the second one is there. The gun is away. Beautiful the timing match. there from Steez, but Cryptic with the 4K able to pull it off. And that's just GG. That match is in the books.